that you're here. Today is a week 22 update of pregnancy and things are going really well. We had some interesting things happen this week. Um, yeah, aside from that, I'm sleeping really well. I'm feeling really good. If you guys are pregnant too and you're watching this, please write in the description box below uh, when you're due and what you're having if you know. I love to see the other women like writing on here and it's really cool to see. But anyways, uh, I feel really good this week. A couple things that happened this week is that uh, one, I'm kind of having that issue where I can't decide what I want to eat and that's a new thing for me. That's never ever been an issue for me. I always know what I want. I'm always usually craving something or in the mood for something or I go through phases where I'm loving X, Y, or Z. And so that's been kind of weird, kind of frustrating. I'm like burning things because I'll be like, I'll start stir fry and then I'll start potatoes. And at the same time, I'm like making rice and vegetables and nothing makes sense. <laughs> at all like I just I can't decide what I want so like I don't have that desire to come up with something really tasty um so therefore I just nothing sounds good so that's been a little bit of, bit of a challenge I've definitely been enjoying a lot of juices I had had some dehydration this week that I wasn't really expecting um we went to the doctor's appointment this week a midwife appointment I lost two pounds which is so bizarre I have been really tired so the last two weeks I haven't been able to work out so my only thing is that it's definitely muscle for sure um, and I'm not as hungry as I normally am because I'm not doing the normal high intensity workout so like my appetite just isn't quite where it, where it was um, I would almost rather the last two weeks I would almost rather sleep than eat like I've just been so tired I know a lot of that has to do with the choline that my midwife uh, suggested that I start taking I learned that the choline was causing me a lot of fatigue and it was also causing me really, really bad body odor, which is not something that I'm used to. Um, I, w I could literally be doing nothing and it was giving me the worst body odor, odor ever. And so choline actually helps to uh, break down stuff in your liver. So I know that's what it was coming from. Um, I stopped taking it the last two days just to see how my body would respond and I feel I have a lot more energy. I feel a lot better. I was able to work out yesterday and today, which was really nice um, after taking some time off. So it's been it's been a little bit interesting. If you guys are on choline too, let me know down below. Um, it's actually it's a B vitamin and it helps with uh, metabolizing fat in the body. Uh, since I've been pregnant, a lot of you know that I have up to my fat because um, I'm trying to get my body to absorb more vitamin D and. <sighs> I have to say, you guys, I don't enjoy eating fat. I don't enjoy the way my body responds to it. I don't enjoy how it makes me feel. Um, I just don't. I would much rather eat an abundance of fruit and vegetables, the high carb, low fat way of eating than having the fat in my diet. I just don't love it. I just don't. So I've been trying, I've definitely been trying. Um, I can feel my body change though in different ways. Um, so it's a little bit interesting, but yeah, if you guys are adjusting to that or if you're having to take vitamin D, let me know in the comments below. I'm also taking a magnesium to help my body absorb everything that I am taking. I will show you guys the bump. So here's the bump. Yes, I'm wearing sweatpants right now. I feel, this week, I feel so big. I know even in the camera, it doesn't look that big, but to me, like, Carrying this around feels so big, and I know I have a long way to go. It just feels, I think now more than ever, it just feels so big. Um, I think too, because at, throughout my entire pregnancy so far, which has been five and a half months, this month is the month that I feel like I've grown the most. I feel like I have grown 
the most in the last two weeks than I have my entire pregnancy. And whether that's true or not, I don't know. I would only know if I was measuring it, but that's how, certainly how I feel, for sure. Um, this week on my app, for those of you who asked on the last one, I'm using the Bump app, but there's a lot of different apps out there. Just do the one uh, that you like. This one's free, so you guys know I like that. Um, yeah, let's see what it says. Baby is the size of a coconut. How accurate is that for my life? <laughs> um, yeah, baby is 10.9 inches and 15.1 ounces. Now, two weeks ago, uh, my baby was about 20 ounces ahead of what this app was saying. So I know my baby's actually bigger than this right now. Um, so based off the measurements, the really interesting thing is, is by the time you get to 20 weeks, they start to measure your uterus. And so my uterus is measuring 19 weeks, but my baby is measuring at like 23 weeks, which is really interesting. And also means that it's squished in there. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know, it's a big baby, I guess. Anyways, uh, something else that happened this week is I had more uh, leg cramps and foot cramps. <laughs> Justin and I had gone to the beach. It's something that we, we've been trying to do before the baby comes to just go to the beach for my vitamin D and for just us and our relationship. And we had gone, and so I hadn't really drank much water. We were in the sun, and um, <laughs> when we pull the car in, I have to climb over because it's really close to the wall. And so I'm climbing over the driver's side and my foot, like as I was climbing over, like my foot just stuck out and it was just stuck. <laughs> it's, it hurt so bad. I was like screaming. My husband was just letting me have my little pain tantrum um, and then I went away. So I've been trying to make sure that I'm drinking coconut water and um, taking my magnesium, getting all that in, making sure I'm drinking enough water, getting enough salt too. That's something that I, I am not used to either uh, throughout pregnancy is that I don't drink a lot of salt. Just in general, I don't eat a lot of salt. Um, so I've been having to add it into my diet for sure, uh, which is fine, but it's definitely not something that I would normally do or can you know easily adapt to my diet. It's definitely something I've had to make intentional effort to do. Um, what else? What else can I tell you? Uh, sleeping has been really good. I've been really tired. Like I said, I lost two pounds because I couldn't work out. So I stopped taking the choline, the vitamin B supplement I was taking um, the last two days and I was able to work out and have a nice workout. So that felt really good. I'll try to start taking the choline again. Um, but I might maybe only take it at nighttime or something just so it can give me the energy in the morning. Um, other than that, things are really, really good. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's kind of like these these weeks, like basically, I think 20 through 30, like nothing exciting really, really happens. Baby has been moving a lot. Ugh, weird. I swear I'm so tired. Uh, the baby has been moving a lot. This week has been really fun. Like Justin was able to feel the baby moving a lot. So that was really exciting. Um, but yeah, other than that, I feel really, really good. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to update you on. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you kind of know something else that happened in a world and that's my dog, my sweet little dog. Um, we had to take him to the emergency room in, in the middle of the night the other night. I had fallen asleep on the couch, no bra, no shoes, no socks, and I hear the dog yelp, and my husband, <laughs> I hear my husband like, you know, like moaning, like, oh no, oh no, and I'm like, what happened, what happened, and so I spring up, there's blood everywhere, like literally everywhere. He was bleeding so much, I was so scared, and so I just scooped him up, my husband's running around, and he's like, no, 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 babe, like it's really bad, it's really bad, and I'm like, what happened? And my husband, our dog's a little like awkward. And so my husband was coming out of the bathroom in the hallway and the dog like couldn't see him. They couldn't see each other. And the dog was like stutter stepping. And my husband accidentally tripped on the dog and ended up stepping on his leg. And when he did that, his leg burst open. And so here we are, I'm like, oh my gosh, his leg's broken. My husband's freaking out. He's like, his bone's sticking out. Like, he, this isn't good. <laughs> and so anyways, I scoop him up. 
my husband's like trying to throw clothes on. He was coming out of the bathroom, so he's like trying to throw clothes on. We run to the car. I, again, I have no shoes on, no bra, and <laughs> we hop in the car, drive to emergency uh, vet center. I literally have him like this. I'm carrying him in, and I'm like, here, please, you know, fix him, whatever. And there's just blood everywhere. There's blood all over me. There's blood all over my husband. It was like, you guys, it was so dramatic. I can't even begin to tell you. Anyways, it's, this is like 10 o'clock at night. We finally get seen by the doctor. They had taken him back and given him pain meds and all that good stuff. But we had finally been seen by the doctor, the vet, at like one in the morning. Anyways, and so they start to tell us that, uh, they said, well, what happened? I said, well, we broke his leg. My husband stepped on him like we didn't mean to. Like we're such bad dog parents and we're just like so upset and so mortified. It turned out that my dog had a abscess in his leg and we didn't know about it. And since I've been pregnant, we've been walking like probably at least three miles a day um, in addition to my workouts just because it makes me feel the best, especially when I had morning sickness. It made me feel really good. And so anyways, so apparently I was abusing my poor dog this whole time. I had no idea. He wasn't biting at it. He wasn't like scratching at it or like whimpering. He was going up and down the stairs several times a day, no problem. I mean, I had no idea. He had inflammation all the way up his entire leg and it was so inflamed and swollen that it burst open and that's what happened. So the pressure of my husband stepping on it burst this abscess open. <laughs> so it turns out we didn't break his leg, thank goodness. It was just an abscess that, burned, that burst open and so we left the hospital like one in the morning and then my husband um and i got up at seven to go back and get him once his surgery was done so it was quite the eventful evening it was seriously a good uh, warm-up to parenthood i guess like i mean i don't know what else can you know prepare you for that kind of stuff aside from that and to be honest i love my dog so much they could have said like lady you know here you need to sign over your car you need to volunteer for us for the next year for free like, i would have been like sure where do you want me to sign no problem just fix my dog <laughs> i love that dog so much so i can't even imagine what it's going to be like having a child but anyways, um, so that's my random story of the week. Aside from that, everything else with pregnancy has been good and, and interesting and just kind of going through the motions and trying to express gratitude for my body for carrying this sweet little uh, baby. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a good time. It's been a really interesting time. And yeah, I'm thankful to just have it. So anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. As always, please write in the comments below what you want to see. I really was gonna, I really wanted to talk about uh, what juicers to buy. That's something that um, I definitely get asked all the time. But if you guys have something more or something else that you'd rather me talk about than that, I would love to hear your thoughts. Of course, I would love to talk about herbs and a particular issue. Um, I'll never uh, pretend to be an expert in an area that I don't know, but if you guys suggest something in the comments below that you know I'm very um, knowledgeable on, I'll definitely talk about it and give you guys the information that I have. Um, I've helped a lot of people in the past, and so there's been a lot of um, experience had and seeing people get well with uh, things that I've seen them try and do and and so that's been kind of cool so if you guys have anything in particular that you want me to uh, cover please put it in the description box below and other than that I will see you on my next video bye